two MI students have asked essentially the same question. Why is it that inf inflation is so low at the same time as unemployment as low as 4%? So that, that um, is historically unusual. Um, often when unemployment is as low as it is now, inflation is higher or shows signs of moving up. Now, my own view is that it has not been a mystery uh, for the past, so inflation has been low for a number of years, but I don't think it has been a mystery. <clears throat> so first, unemployment was very high, and we had slack in the labor market that was depressing inflation, and that is typically what we see. Um, then we had a massive decline in oil prices that pushed inflation down for several years. And starting in 2014, there was a huge appreciation of the dollar. And that pushed down import prices and held down inflation. So when you go back and you look at each year, 2016, 2015, 14, and look at was there a mystery, I would say the answer is no. For all those years, inflation was lower than we wanted it to be, but it wasn't surprising. This year, low inflation is surprising because we're at essentially full employment with a 4.1% unemployment rate. Oil prices have been stable. The dollar has been roughly stable. Um, inflation is surprisingly low. But I guess what I would say and what the working hypothesis of um, our committee is, is that, look, there are other factors, a whole range of um, idiosyncratic kind of factors, most of which may, may be temporary, transitory things that affect inflation other than um, slack in the labor market, oil prices in the dollar. For example, for several years now, health care costs have been rising less rapidly than they typically do. Um, partly because of changes related to the Affordable Care Act. Okay, that may be a big enough sector that that's had an influence, but one that's likely to be transitory. Um, earlier this year in March and April, um, the way in which uh, phone companies, mobile phone companies, charge for data plans, um, they began to offer unlimited data and although nobody really saw their um, cell phone bill change a whole lot, the statisticians at the Bureau of Labor Statistics decided that that was really a massive decline in the effective cost of cell phone services, and that caused a very large decline in prices. So there are, there are idiosyncratic factors, I would hypothesize, that are holding it down this year. Uh, we expect to, it to move back up over the next year or two. Mm -hmm. But I will say I am very uncertain about this. My colleagues and I are not certain that it is transitory and we are monitoring inflation very closely. And I'll go back to what I said earlier about keeping an open mind and yep. not assuming you have a monopoly on truth. Um, it may be that there is something more endemic or long-lasting here that we need to pay attention to.